Hello and welcome to the Daily Center. The reason why we do these is so that we can take some time to rest and rest more importantly not just from doing things but rest in something, rest to something, rest in and rest to God. And so we look at these passages of scripture and we allow them to wash over us and we allow God's word and God's spirit to wash over us as we become attentive to God and to the things that God says. So this passage of scripture that we're going to look at today for a couple of moments is Psalm 31 verses 1 through 5. And so as you are listening to this passage of scripture being read, you can either find um, and read along in maybe your Bible or something like that, or you can just listen as I read this passage of scripture. Verse 1 of Psalm 71 says, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. This passage of scripture is pretty interesting because it talks about this idea of refuge. This idea of having a place or being a place to go when you need help, when you um, are alone or lost or need help. I wonder what you would think is your refuge. What would you say is your refuge? What's the place or where do you go in times of trouble or in times of need? Oftentimes we go to things or people or we go to I don't know emotional things we go to uh, maybe numbing things we go to a lots of different things to be our refuge to help us to make maybe feel safe but this passage of scripture is saying that and the, the writer who's who wrote this passage script passage of scripture is saying that God is the place where he runs God is the place that this person goes to when they need help because he says, in your, righteousness, in your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. In other words, this person who wrote this is saying, God, I look to you. Again, we often look to different things. And unfortunately, not a lot of those things are God. So the first question was, what is your refuge? The second question would be, what, it would, what would it look like for you in this time and in this place that you find yourself in to make God your refuge? How could you do that? Let me pray. Lord, I thank you for this word where the psalmist is saying to you, asking you to deliver him from the hand of the wicked and from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. God, help us to, in this season of life and in all seasons of life, make you our refuge even more than anything else. Help us to run to you more and and more than anything else that we could possibly run to and make you our refuge. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.